Hi friends, I am Saravanan from the Aquaponics India by Glow Green. Wish you all a happy and a healthy new year. Today we are going to talk about the three P's of aquaponics. One, patience. Patience is very important in aquaponics. When you integrate different technologies, we have to be a bit careful. We have to have a basic knowledge about that. Aquaponics is an integration of three major fields. One, aquaculture, agriculture and hydroponics. Aquaculture. Aquaculture is the art and science of growing any species in water like fish, shrimps, plants, etc. It is a vast field and you have to uh, deal with different species, the density of how much you can put it in the tank and the biomass produced by that, the feeding ratio, the quality of water, the management of water quality, di diseases, etc. Number two is agriculture. Agriculture is again an art and science of growing plants and animals in soil or land for human needs. This is again a large field which we have to learn a lot of basics about this. This also has different species of plants and animals and the spacing how we have to do that. And you have to see the nutrient value, the food whatever you give to that. Like for plants you take the major nutrients, the micronutrients, things like that. The diseases, the pest, deficiencies. There are a lot of things we have to learn about agriculture. And number three is hydroponics. Hydroponics is a recent developed technology to grow plants without soil. It's a new technology so it's getting evolved and a lot of new researches are happening in this field. Now as of now hydroponics the nutrients are totally inorganic and hopefully in future we make it organic nutrients for this. So to learn about aquaponics, you need to know basics about all these three fields and which is going to take a while. So minimum six months to two years it will take for you to learn about aquaponics. If you're a backyard aquaponic grower, then maybe six months is okay with you. Suppose you want to do commercially, then you have to learn a lot. So it may take more than a year or two for you to learn about aquaponics. The second P is perfection. When you want to integrate different technologies and convert the disadvantage of one to advantage of other and work symbiotically then the system has to be foolproof so now aquaponics is in an early stage so there are a lot of combinations happening in the design in the density in the material in deficiency in the species plants etc so people are working on different parts of the world with different aspects, different designs and things like that. If one have to learn about aquaponics and do farming through aquaponics, he or she has to completely perfect their system unless it's not going to work properly. If you don't balance the system, it's not going to work properly. You cannot take a design from the internet and directly work on it. Maybe it should not, it may work or it may not work for you. So you have to design for your conditions so perfecting a system it's it's a long lasting thing it's not going to happen in one day it's going to take some time so perfection is the second p which you have to have in mind number three is persistence persistence is very important in learning aquaponics when you learn about a new technology you will burn your fingers first the every failure you face like you have to persistently find a way out to come out of the issues lot of people like in between they just do halfway through they just leave it because like every time when they say different issues they may think it's not for me no aquaponics you can't just learn like that because you're integrating different technologies and you're going to just balance it so you will face a lot of things because it's a new technology so whenever you face a problem you have to say yes i'm going to come out of it persistence is the key of success i personally 
have, am facing all these three P's in my aquaponics system. This year, we are planning to do a lot of activities in aquaponics. Dear friends, we have a surprise for you shortly. Stay tuned, keep in touch. If you like this video, kindly like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Ooh.